Well, they're about to play a game of Kamek. Traditional sort of a game played with uh, crooked sticks that has been played on the island for hundreds of years. And it was traditionally played here and uh, since Stephen's day here at St John's Fairfield. If, if, you bring, if you bring a hockey stick, it's frowned upon. Yeah. So you have to make your own. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, well, you have the hunt around in the morning and then uh, your Kamek match. Uh, and then there's a session in the pub, so. Well, it's just tradition, it's good, and it's good to see, like, people, because you don't really see a lot of people about um, throughout the whole year, and then you see them. It's, it's just, like, yeah, it's great fun. Yeah, it's a great day out, and, uh, yeah, it just makes the, the day after Christmas a little bit more fun and less yeah. depressing. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, cam, or cam in Manx, means crooked. Or, or, um, so, like in English, scam means it's crooked, come from the Gaelic. So um, that's just the, the twist at the end of the stick. So camog means a little, a little crooked thing. So we've got um, freshly cut gorse sticks. I don't want to say the traditional way because everyone's got their own little way of doing it. Um, is we've got proper gorse sticks and grown in this shape. We've not shaped anything. We've not got any anything yeah. special or anything Nothing bought. Fancy. They're uh, our own natural camog sticks. I believe that gorse is the traditional way um, or at least that they grow curvy which makes great for a club and they've got a bit of weight in them and they don't usually snap. Is that a normal thing to get a Kamek stick for your birthday? No. Are you looking forward to using yeah. it today though? Yeah. First time. And uh, who's going to be winning today? North. North. Like always. North always win. Kamek is killer hockey I suppose is a fairly good description. Traditional. I think Shinty they play in Scotland and I suppose it's different games in Ireland, but I've been involved, oh, I don't know how many years, and not from the start, it was played before that, but today there's a far more people like watching and playing than when I first started. It's fantastic, old and young. It can be a bit dangerous as we found today. I think there was a couple of injuries today. Dewey Bennett had a, a bloody nose and some fellow was a strapped up arm. Their goalkeeper, man, he was busy. I had nothing to do all day. Playing from the north, you see. Well, it, it's dirty goals. There's only one rule, and that rule is there aren't any. We start at two with the dings on the clock, and we finish at three with the dings on the clock. So that's the parameters. And uh, I think we played a little bit extra today just because there was a crowd of us. But we have three halves, uh, 20 past and 22. The dividing line is this Peel Road here, Peel to Douglas Road, north and south. You get people playing north and south, you know. And, uh, but I. I I'm a northerner and I couldn't. I'd rather go to the dentist and play for the south. It's a traditional Manx form of what we would call hockey, or maybe hockey's uh, an English form of Kamag. I think that's a better way to describe it. My son, play, younger son, played today. I think he's played before, I'm not sure, but he, he kind of threw himself around a bit, did a lot of damage. And my grandson, eldest grandson, played, so he's 11. So these people are the, history, uh, the future, I should say. I'm the history there, the future. Kamig was the um, original national uh, sport of the island now, and was really quite, um, quite you know, prominent on the island up until probably when the football took over. So you're talking about the beginning of the uh, 20th century. So yeah, so it's played a part in, in, in national sp in, uh, uh, island man sport for many, many years. But this has now become a bit of one of the uh, pantomime compared to, to what it was. Uh, but still good fun and the, the important thing is that all ages can join in. And it's taken in good spirit as long as the North are winning. From what I've heard, it, it did used to uh, involve almost villages, you know. But there are, so, there are some records that say that it was a big match and it was, you know, kind of going from one village to another. But I, I think more recent times it was, um, you know, it was taken more seriously, you know, as a, as a proper Kamig league, and um, and you know it was kind of same number of you know players each side, and it was done with some rules. Whereas this one, the, the of course, it's famed for having no rules um, except that the Northern win. Uh, that's the only rule there is. But uh, it's usually done in good good spirit, uh, fun mainly. Um, the social side of it 
uh, and it's it's a great way of earning a pint. It's also a tradition, of course, which which needs to be kept going. And as I say, it's wonderful to see three or four generations all all taking part together.